today we are going to be dealing with angles of a triangle. And the rule about angles of a triangle is that all the angles add up to 180 degrees. And that's what I showed you up here, that all sum, which means add, to 180 degrees. And that we're going to use that property to find the unknown angle measure in each of the triangles. So if we know that this angle, that's an unknown, we'll call it x here, and this angle, 23 degrees, and this one, 141, all of these add up to make 180 degrees. So all you're going to do is you're going to start by adding the two that you do know. So we can go ahead and combine these two right here, 23 plus 141. So when you add those two numbers together, you can always line up the place values, you end up with 164 degrees plus x plus this unknown amount equals 180. So what I want to do to solve is I want to do an opposite operation. I'm going to just subtract the sum of the other two angles from 180 degrees, the total sum of all the angles in a triangle. And so when I do that, I end up with x equals, and then make sure you borrow here, change this 8 to a 7, and you end up with 16 degrees. So that's it. So the unknown angle is 16 degrees. It's the same thing you're going to do on all these other problems. <clears throat> so the first step is, I'm going to call this one x here, the question mark, and I sum the other two angles, so 64 and 76, and then plus the unknown one, x, equals 180 degrees. So I can go ahead and collect some like terms. These two terms here, I'm going to combine. Combine them together. Add them together. And so when I do that, I end up with 140 degrees plus x equals 180. And so from this point, all you have to do is one step. Subtract that 140 from both sides. Subtract that 140. <coughs> And we'll have our answer. So x equals 40 degrees. And that's our answer. So looking at the next one, we've got to combine all the angles together. Even this one here we'll call x. We don't know what that angle is. That's the one we're trying to add together. So x plus 32 plus 36. All those angles together make 180 degrees. So we'll go ahead and collect these two terms right here. So we still have this x plus, but now we add those together, we get 68 equals 180 degrees. And so from that point, you're just going to do an opposite operation. So the two angles together sum to make 68. If you take that sum away from the total degrees of the triangle, which is 180 degrees, it gives us the unknown angle. So you got to borrow a little bit. And we end up with a 1, a 1, and a 2. So 112 degrees is the answer for number 3. Well, the next set of directions asks us to use the diagram, which we have over here, to find the measure of each indicated angle. And so when you look at an angle, the center letter is where it makes the angle, is where the vertex is. So I'll start at this point here, D, and I go to E, and that's where the corner is, and then it's going to go off at an angle, C. So this angle is what I'm looking for right here. Well, this symbol here, right here, this symbol means that this angle is equal to 90 degrees. But that includes two angles. That includes this 11 degree plus the one I'm looking for. So I'm going to call that one X, the one I'm looking for. So this angle... DEC equals X. <clears throat> and so what I'm going to do, since these two angles, they have this symbol here, this right angle symbol, since those two equal 90 degrees, I'm going to take those two and add them together. 11 plus X equals 90 degrees. So all I have to do from this point is subtract the 11 from both sides, <clears throat> and that'll give me my answer for X. And so we go ahead and do some more work there. Subtract the 11 from 90, and we end up with a 79 degrees. Make sure you borrow from the 9, change it to an 8, and that's our answer. 
So B, C, E. So start at the B, you go to the C, and then you go to the E. So it's this angle right here is what we're looking for. Well, what we need to do is we need to be able to figure some other angles before we can get to this B, C, E. See, I have 11, but I don't know what this angle is. So I also don't know what this angle is. So I can't really quite do anything quite yet. So let's go <clears throat> and try to figure out an extra angle. And they may want it. So let's go to number 5, and that's probably the one I should have gone to since it comes before 6. And we start at A. You go to C, and then you go up to B. So this is the missing angle here. So let's call this one Z. That's the missing angle we want to find. And so we know that the sum of these angles, since this is a triangle here, is going to make 180. So if I do 58 plus 70 plus Z, those all add to make 180 degrees. And so all I have to do is combine some like terms, these two terms here, Make 128 plus Z equals 180. Well, I go ahead and do some more work. I can subtract that 128 from both sides. Subtract that 128. And we'll do a little bit of borrowing. Change the 8 to a 7. And we're left with Z equals. And we have a 52 degrees. So 52 degrees is the angle that we were looking for there, which is angle A, C, B. Well, from this point, now we can go back to number 6 here <clears throat> and find out what B, C, E is. We're going to call this one Y, and notice that this angle, A, C, B, or Z, which is what I called it last time, Y and 11 make a straight line. A straight line has 180 degrees. So I know that Z, which is 52, plus Y plus 11, I'll add to make 180 degrees. So I can go ahead and do some work there. Combine the like terms, the 52 and the 11. And so that gives me 63 plus Y equals 180. So I can go ahead and do a little bit more work. Subtract that 63 from both sides. And we can go ahead and do some subtraction. Make sure, again, you borrow from the 8, change it to a 7. So we have a 1, 1, and a 7. So 117 degrees. So the last one we're looking for is E, B, C. So let's take a look at that one. E, B, to C. So this is the last angle that we need. And we'll call this one, how about A? All right, so A. Now, notice that we do have this one now, Y, which is... B, C, E. So we know this one equals 117 degrees. And so if this is 117, L, or 11, plus A is going to add to make 180 degrees. So I can use that, that theorem that says all angles in a triangle add to make 180. So we'll say A plus 117 plus 11 adds to make 180 degrees. Go ahead and combine the two terms we can, these two. We're left with A plus, this makes 128 equals 180 degrees. So from that point, all we have to do is subtract that 128 from both sides, and that'll give us our answer. But again, just as the last few problems, we do end up having to borrow. Change the 8 to a 7 again, and so we're left with a 52 degrees. The same as what we had over here, one other one, Z, was 52 degrees as well. So those are some of the problems that we'll see there. we got one more, it looks like, number 8. It talks about the figure shows a design for a detail of an art project. Find the unknown angle, measure X. So notice they've already given it a variable like I did on the other problems. And we've got to use a couple different theorems here. First of all, we need to have the angles. This angle is not 105, but notice that this is a straight line. So the straight line in pink here represents 180 degrees. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call this one Y. And so I'm going to say that the Y plus the 105 plus 105 is going to add to make 180 degrees. So let's solve for y. 
So sometimes, you know, we want to find an unknown, but we end up having to find another unknown prior to finding the one we want to find. And that's the case on these last few problems. So y equals, got to borrow here, change this to a 7, and do the subtraction, we have 75. So 75 degrees, that's what this y represents. So y equals 75 degrees. Now we can use that theorem about angles in a triangle adding to make 180. So these angles right here are going to all add up to make 180. 39 plus 75 plus x equals 180. So we go ahead and add some stuff together. We've got the 39 and the 75. And those add to make 114 degrees plus x equals 180. And so now I'm ready to do some subtraction. So 114 is what I'm going to take away from both sides. And so now I've got this x equals I'm going to borrow from the 8, change it to a 7, so that makes 66 degrees. And that's the answer I wanted. 66 degrees is what I was looking for. That is the value of x. So those are some of the problems that you'll see on tonight's homework. Good luck.